Welcome back to the Techno Communism Conversation. I'm Johanan Benzine, a voice crying out in the wilderness, crying out for a technological new Jerusalem. And um, in a few hours, in many parts of the world, this is already the case, October 7th, um, the one year anniversary of uh, the beginning of um, a. What was, in a lot of lights, a false flag. The um, the the Israelis pretty clearly had intelligence that Doctor October seventh was going to happen and allowed it um, uh, to happen. It took them eight hours to travel the distance. It would have taken them five minutes uh, to um, uh, uh, to stop events that they knew were well under away in. 2023, October 7, 2023, um, and um, almost immediately after um, the events of October 7, 2023, um, every reasonable discerning person, mostly people who you would describe as scientific socialists and such, said um, the devastation that was caused um, uh, to uh, those vehicles at that festival. Um, could not have possibly been caused uh, by the kinds of weapons um, that were um, in possession of, uh, of the um, Al-Aqsa Flood um, Alliance, which is generally referred to as Hamas by the fascist Western media, um, but it was actually made up of a number of freedom-fighting groups, not just Hamas. Um, and um, um, the just like almost everything that the United States and Israel does, um, uh, there was a, a calculated misinformation uh, that was easily debunked, except that the fascist mainstream media um, um, upholds it and, and churns it out a million, a million times over uh, to people, so they have no real choice but to accept um, uh, deceptive disinformation. Um, that's why you really should not be watching cable news. Uh, if you're watching cable news, you're setting up yourself up to be a fascist um, uh, operative, effectively. Um, and uh, uh, so this, um, and uh, the, they immediately then began spreading a, a atrocity misinformation um, but that was uh, describing events that did not occur, um, and then did those. Uh, very things like beheading young children, great number, bombs, um, and um, uh, sexual violence in great number. Um, it's uh, um, uh, this, and um, um, the title of this suggests this is a U.S. run um, um, uh, uh, genocide, and of course, it is. Um, there is no Israel without uh, U.S. funding and direction at every turn. Um, uh, the idea that there is some uh, separation between the two is itself the view of um, a fascist sympathizer, a person with an uh, unclear and far from complete view of world affairs who imagines that the U.S. Um, and Israel are somehow separate. It's more accurate um, to say that um, uh, it, that Israel is the 51st uh, state of, um, of the fascist United States, or um, uh, just effectively a, a, an overgrown military outpost of the United States. Um, um, that is there neo-colonial effects that are well understood to people who uh, think seriously about these things, and um, unfortunately not enough uh, people do in the U.S. halls of power or um, in the um, institutions, they could be so called, where there is the veneer of respectability politics, you know, not necessarily specifically Beltway folks, um, that is um, uh, virtually no one, virtually no one um, is willing uh, to say uh, this sort of thing. But people do have uh, something to say. Um, tens and tens of thousands of people protesting this weekend um, in the United States alone against this fascist uh, sort of thing. 
and uh, I am going to talk about technology, so I'll uh, segue by describing uh, a conversation that occurred. Uh, you don't have this kind of access uh, to those halls of power um, that um, uh, Wall Street, financial capital, and private wealth generally uh, do. Uh, so the uh, CEOs of um, uh, BlackRock and Palantir and other companies uh, demanded an audience with uh, senile um, and uh, very evil president of the United States, Joseph Biden, a few months ago. And uh, they said, listen, we don't care if 100,000 people are protesting every weekend against this. You, They have no recourse. We can afford to wait them out and uh, ignore their protests. Uh, so um, if you respond to um, 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 uh, these uh, protests by uh, um, cutting off aid to Israel, aid, uh, cutting off, uh, uh, forcing this um, uh, genocide across the Levant now, not just um, across uh, this part of the Arab world, not just um, in, uh, in Palestine. Um, uh, this has escalated to attacks on Lebanon, Syria, um, um, Iran um, has uh, been drawn into uh, this. This is this actions of the United States and Israel, the actions of psychopaths uh, murdering uh, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of innocent civilians and um, and um, uh, making the world unsafe and from a number of different uh, perspectives. Uh, this uh, the environmental devastation of these genocides aside from the horror of um, uh, murdering a, a third of a million people or more um, uh, children many of them children um, in in the course of a year um, the environmental devastation of such a, a, a use of ordinance uh, it's an extraordinary amount of ordinance that's been used um, uh, many times over what was used um, in the uh, uh, bombings of uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki um, um, uh, uh, just used um, on Palestine by the fascist United States and Israel um, and um, uh, you know so these um, uh, uh, these um, arch fiends uh, these uh, CEOs of these companies Palantir is um, you know the, the techno fascist arch fiend of, of planet earth uh, the person who started that company and, and who still effectively uh, uh, runs it, uh, Peter Thiel is one of the most evil human beings alive, also a person who um, um, has an outsized uh, and negative in influence on um, um, uh, technologists and the tech communities, um, so much so that you can scarcely point to a tech organization where um, there's not some portion of the leadership bending over backwards to make sure that Peter Thiel gets what he wants, uh, which is lunacy. And what, you know, what is, what are, what are these people, general tech people generally doing in this world? You say, these people are intelligent. They're making uh, things of real interest to humankind. Notice thing, not benefit, but interest. Um, they're making things of real interest to, to humankind. That's not really true. And, um, um, the, uh, most important thing that you would say there is that these are people who are upholding uh, this omnicidal set of systems. The United States military industrial complex is the world's worst polluter. And of course, it's a far worse crime set of crimes than that because um, the um, uh, its only real job on the world stage is protecting other super polluting criminals, uh, building and um, maintaining an inescapable uh, global regime of super pollution. It's causing the death of humankind. And uh, by and large, um, uh, these uh, proxy wars that it funds and the um, uh, sentiments that it generates is a, a kind of confusion uh, to um, um, to draw focus as much as they are able to away from the fact that the fundamental problem is um, private wealth, um, uh, financial capital um, in, in the hands of uh, those who run these evil empires, most notably the United States. Um, and um, uh, so what would you call people who um, who work within that system who not just uh, you know, are forced to operate within that system but who uh, happily uphold these uh, militaristic and neoliberal mandates um, at a high level was 
As technologists, would you uh, call these omnicidal actors intelligent people? There's uh, something kind of complicated going on in some of their minds. I don't consider that to be intelligence. A definition of intelligence uh, would be uh, not doing things that cause uh, harm to yourself or the extinction of your species in the larger context, as these people are doing. Uh, so they're lunatics, you know, there's a the Western personality is a lunatic. Um, and um, 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 well, I'm going to, uh, uh, on the last show, I talked about, um, I mentioned, um, uh, I guess, uh, one of the uh, one of the people who I've come to see as rather like this, although it's not fair to, um, and I and I mentioned this person Ben Gertzel in the context of um, uh, 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 that I was sort sort of connected uh, to them and fairly recently ended that connection. Um, well, the last of that connection uh, because I saw a video uh, where he talked about working with intelligence agencies. Um, and uh, that's just uh, that's like the, just like the bare minimum <laughs> of being connected to people is let's not be connected to people who are fucking cops. Um, and um, um, and uh, but um, it might have been impulsive. And I said, you know, there's um, uh, the there's a um, uh, almost every person in the United States sets about to. Um, um, uh, fix the system from within has failed with that and this person describes himself as a kind of socialist and a, and a tech accelerationist um, uh, as a, a, a techno socialist who uh, would um, um, want to end this omnicidal system um, but um, um, uh, everybody uh, no you know maybe he's the one person in a billion who uh, works within the system and does achieve that. But everybody thus far, many, 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 many people uh, who set about to do that were, became fascists themselves, were absorbed into the fascist system and failed to do that. Um, but the focus of, um, uh, of bringing that up was not really to say any of that. I didn't get to what I meant to say there, uh, which is that I watched another of his uh, more recent videos, um, which I won't share. Um, I might share um, some of his videos and, at some time, but um, this is on a channel of people who are just ridiculous pseudo-intellectuals and fascist sympathizers for the most part, so I'm not going to share that content. Um, but um, uh, he described um, um, the, a problem of focusing on large language models as a path um, to uh, this transformative uh, thing the AI take off or super intelligence um, and um, um, he said that you know this um, in the building of super intelligence um, the, the use of large language models is is not zero percent of the building of super intelligence neither is it the solid majority so maybe estimating that it would uh, have about a 10 percent importance or something and um, um, I kind of um, I wonder if you know, the problem the problem generally of uh, Western uh, futurism is uh, the problem of uh, talking about um, emerging uh, technology or um, uh, systems of uh, sometime in the future as if they are the the context of today uh, the thus engaging in what is in uh, uh, um, a futuristic thought experiment that is by its nature um, uh, right wing and disconnected from reality and um, um, this is something that I've not witnessed transhumanists not do really this person also like myself describes himself as a, a transhumanist so in 2025 there are um, open source uh, large language models that are sufficiently agentic able to um, um, engage in um, a project management um, and have insights into their behavior that uh, with um, some significant steering uh, they could nevertheless um, operate interoperate in in large numbers in something that could be this workforce multiplier that I often describe on this channel um, uh, so the fact that there are other disciplines in computer science 
uh, that might ultimately build things more super intelligent than that. Um, uh, that is not to say that that is a distinct possibility or a likelihood in some years. Is not say is not the same as saying that some other discipline is a path to super intelligent uh, some super intelligent formation in 2025. And um, and it's there's a distinct possibility that this person. Um, um, who knows a hell of a lot more about computer science uh, than I do, or probably than you do, uh, might have a better idea of how to build a super intelligent thing outside of the form uh, of large language models or machine learning. Um, but that was not suggested in this talk or other talks along these lines. Um, and um, um, so I can only really just respond to what I what I have heard or know in, in these contexts. And I. Um, uh, read um, or listen to a fair amount of content uh, to do with these subjects and so um, I can say that I don't really see people um, other people um, talking about paths to super intelligence in 2025 as opposed to say 2035 um, that um, that are uh, uh, not pretty um, large language model intensive um, uh, but I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about um, uh, this idea, nevertheless. Um, there is, um, uh, there are um, computer science disciplines outside of the realm of open source large language models, and um, it's important to recognize uh, their uh, strengths and to build multidisciplinary uh, superintelligence. Uh, but uh, the multidisciplinary aspect of any of this um, um, it pales by comparison to the emphasis on building this people's AI takeoff. Um, some things with super intelligent features are already being built, um, but again, as I said before, um, they're being built in this um, bourgeois CIA run context uh, where their efforts are going to, by their nature, by their slavishness to empire and financial capital, be unintelligent or counterproductive. And um, uh, so if the uh, superintelligence is contributing to the omnicide and contributing to human immiseration generally, uh, then that is not actually superintelligence, is it? That's a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, that's a piece of shit with a lot of complicated bells and the whistles, but nevertheless, that's a big fat piece of shit. Um, and um, um, uh, so we, but we, we should be able to recognize that the people's AI take off and this multidisciplinary aspect of advanced computing are not um, mutually exclusive, and um, um, uh, there are um, a good a good many uh, that uh, could be discussed. Um, uh, the one the the one that would tend to appeal to these uh, pie in the sky um, uh, futurists engaging in right wing thought experimentation might be. Uh, quantum uh, computing, right? Uh, quantum computing um, is being built by people who um, would seem to have a mandate uh, for the kind of uh, transformation of the economic systems, uh, namely uh, chi the Chinese. Um, the Chinese have invested quite a lot of, um, of, of research and development um, and uh, resources uh, in um, building new computer science disciplines that um, uh, might put them in a position to uh, solve real-world problems like stopping capitalism's climate apocalypse, which necessarily means stopping um, the omnicidal uh, U.S. regime that I described. Um, um, and um, uh, but at present, uh, quantum computers have not been applied <laughs> to uh, this task, this which is a pretty specific set of tasks. Right? It requires. Um, uh, changing the industrial base of uh, uh, capitalistic sectors um, uh, uh, to something that is uh, not harmful to the environment. Um, and that really requires uh, the abolition of this military industrial complex of the United States. It's a world worst polluter. It requires the near abolition as much as it's possible without harming people of fossil fuels and um, livestock systems which um, uh, use up 45% uh, of arable land on Earth and are, by other measures, um, more than 50% of the impact of human beings on 
um, the negative impact of human beings on our planet is a livestock system. So those three sectors basically have to be wholly dismantled. Um, and um, 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 uh, people's AI takeoff uh, using um, this um, uh, other, other less speculative um, um, uh, fields within computer science than quantum computing, uh, fields which have had um, impacts uh, there um, um, are um, is um, uh, are significant um, uh, uh, reinforcement learning uh, robotics um, these have had a more of a significant impact um, on sectors than um, uh, than um, uh, quantum computing at this time um, and um, um, the um, but but I have uh, described the building of uh, this thing uh, that is a workforce multiplier using open source large language models as a, a step that we can begin uh, to take in 2025 or starting in the now at the latter part of 2024 um, uh, to build um, uh, a workforce multiplier uh, that centers uh, human needs um, and um, and could become with millions of users a thing strong enough to transform the industrial base of, um, of capitalistic sectors in the ways that I described which as I said necessarily requires at the very least bringing to heel um, uh, the fascist the techno fascist United States and its uh, malign and incredibly destructive role in capitalism's uh, climate apocalypse um, these are um, that's it's really not negotiable um, that's why um, um, I am a, a write-in US presidential candidate um, uh, 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 Ben Zion 2024 America's last president and um, um, I've written an executive order that I would sign on day one if elected uh, to uh, that office where I would um, sign this executive order to disband the United States federal government placing um, all of these uh, re relevant um, holdings and fe federal duties not the MIC which must be dissolved but the relevant holdings and federal duties in the hands of existing Native American bodies uh, Native semi-autonomous autonomous nations of the United States and uh, the, of Native Americans which would then become uh, not only fully autonomous but take on a role in the governing of the 50 states which would continue to exist more or less in their same form uh, but would now have a different uh, oversight uh, of, of them and the most significant thing about this is that it ends the United States military industrial complex and thus this otherwise inescapable regime of global super pollution a candidate a reform candidate uh, like Jill Stein uh, if she were to become president of the United States uh, would not end the United States military industrial complex and so whatever reforms might be made um, even those along the lines of the Green New Deal um, um, uh, would not be enough in the five years that we have left before we reach runaway overheating caused by the fascist United States and capitalism's climate apocalypse this runaway overheating is not really um, in dispute all climate scientists agree that this is happening and that it's going to occur around the year 2029 so that in the decades to follow we will no longer um, be able to um, uh, stop or reverse um, the effects of capitalism's climate apocalypse and this is likely to cause a mega a multi-billion person loss of life if not the total extinction of humankind um, we can still take steps uh, to stop this from happening now but in just a few more years that will no longer be the case and um, and so um, all reformists who are not um, uh, very specifically uh, describing a path uh, to stopping capitalism's climate apocalypse they would in my view be no less um, climate war criminal uh, than the neoliberals or militarists uh, who are quite openly upholding that um, and um, um, uh, this these are serious um, uh, these are serious concerns this is um, this is uh, not a joke avoiding capitalism's climate apocalypse the people who are upholding this system uh, big or small but particularly the big the big bourgeois uh, the ruling elites 
of these um, fascist countries, particularly the United States. Uh, these are people who have accepted, um, by some twisted logic that's a little hard for me to understand, uh, that they um, will um, continue uh, to force march us all to our extinction. Um, and so their lives are forfeit in uh, any in, in any gaming out of what happens. Uh, their lives are forfeit, whether they win or lose. Um, uh, so the best that we can do then um, is um, militantly, um, by the taking up of arms, uh, bring about the end of uh, this omnicide and thus uh, save uh, the human beings in, in other parts of the world, the parts of the world that would be um, the most dramatically uh, impacted. So if you say, for example, then I don't think um, capitalism's climate apocalypse is going to kill everyone. It'll just kill a few billion people. I consider that that is just about the most racist thing that any human being has ever said because the effects of capitalism's climate apocalypse thus far, the many millions of people who have been displaced or killed by capitalism's climate apocalypse thus far, it's overwhelmingly people in the global south um, who have been negatively impacted and that'll continue, uh, that trend will continue. So. Um, if this uh, capitalist climate apocalypse occurs at a scale killing billions, but not all of humankind, um, you w could best describe the, the best analogy to that is um, the um, also uh, Eurocentric genocides of, um, of decades and centuries past, which are of course ongoing. So think of the analogy perhaps of uh, Columbus in sailing the ocean blue in 1492 and um, 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 in doing so, um, taking over a number of islands in the Mediterranean and uh, forcing all of the people in those islands into, um, um, into systems of, of slavery, either uh, plantation or mining uh, slavery. And um, um, the mining was really more of a continental thing. Um, and. Um, but um, uh, those islands, uh, the people, there are no Taino people left in this world, only people with some small amount of Taino ancestry, a relatively small amount, um, uh, because um, many islands were wholly depopulated uh, by this action of enslaving people, not giving them enough food, forcing them to work 16 hours a day till they simply died. Uh, whole islands, whole multiple genocides uh, oftentimes, the Native American genocides of the fascist West are referred to as one genocide, whereas um, um, each of those genocides of the individual cultures would have, um, you know, um, had the scale and impact of, uh, you know, if 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 uh, 500 nations in um, in in Europe had been um, driven to extinction or near extinction by the actions of some other uh, force, we would not describe that as one genocide, we would describe it as 500 genocides. Nevertheless, we refer to indigenous people in this, um, in, in, in this, um, in this way, all, all, all manner, all manner of pretzel logic is used uh, to diminish um, the culpability of, um, of the fascist West in these things. And, um, um, this, um, um, so this is what is happening now in the 21st century, but um, on, a, on an industrial uh, scale um, with um, capitalism's climate apocalypse and um, um, anyone upholding uh, the set of systems, anyone um, who suffers the fascist United States to continue to exist uh, should be thought of as more racist than the slaveholder of the 1700s or 1800s. Um, because as all of the, even all of the horrors that people of that kind did, they did not bring about uh, the extinction of the human species or the near extinction of the human species as the fascist United States and the people who uphold it are doing. Um, and um, uh, the, um, the back uh, back to this um, uh, range of AI disciplines that we could, uh, discuss in the context of a people's AI takeoff. Um, I again would still continue to assert that the open source um, uh, software generally and the open source large language model that is agentic, sufficiently agentic to build this workforce multiplier is should be the uh, path 
uh, forward there and people who um, uh, don't talk about these things in terms of um, um, the public good the public domain as an open source developer would don't talk about these things in terms of the scale building something of the scale to stop capitalism's climate apocalypse as virtually none of these people do even the open source um, enthusiasts among them um, um, uh, these are people who have surrendered um, um, uh, these uh, this most important discipline um, advanced computing is a, a most revolutionary tool most powerful revolutionary tool that's ever existed and we can use it uh, to not merely uh, stop we can't reverse but we can stop the effects of capitalism's climate apocalypse but we can um, at, at the thing at the building of the thing of the scale that could do that as well begin to bring about other um, better effects uh, that are not merely defensive uh, such as building uh, public health services of a single-payer kind uh, that are not that are able in the wake of an AI takeoff to um, uh, begin to cure more and more diseases as you would expect in the wake of an AI takeoff more um, more effects of that kind and ultimately um, in doing that able to reverse uh, the effects of aging in a relatively short time uh, bringing about an indefinite lifespan not just for a limited number of ruling elites or or wealthy people but for all people who would want indefinite lifespan uh, the effect of universal super longevity um, and this and other effects along these lines uh, that is humanitarian outcomes even utopian outcomes are easily easily imagined in the context of this people's uh, super intelligence but first uh, we have to um, uh, have the collectivization the mass collaboration uh, the careful planning and the uh, commitment on the part of people to building this thing that is um, powerful enough to stop capitalism's climate apocalypse and in and any such commitment requires a commitment to building a humane and sustainable uh, world which requires a humane and sustainable economic system that is uh, something dramatically more socialistic than what is uh, predominant today and that uh, requires uh, that we use this most powerful revolutionary tool correctly um, put the uh, give the power to the people in these contexts and uh, build uh, this thing which um, um, with millions of users would be powerful enough to stop capitalism's climate apocalypse with many millions of users um, could not only transform the industrial base as it's necessary to do that but could effectively become the superstructure of this world a new kind of superstructure of this world um, allowing for uh, real-time mass collaboration uh, using these uh, digital doppelgangers as the uh, central actors with human beings having relatively uh, uh, labor uh, burden uh, uh, require labor burden required of them um, in in the doing so I would describe this as a sleeping beauty phenomena wherein um, a person um, uh, with this uh, who has uh, downloaded the specially tailored open source uh, large language model is um, is um, uh, helping to steer it but only this only really requires about maybe one hour of responding to some prompts or emails in the course of a week um, but nevertheless they are doing higher level work because of this workforce multiplying effect of this agentic mass which they are steering um, at the scale of many millions uh, this um, workforce multiplier becomes the thing that um, is able to run uh, all institutions at a better a better pace and better um, efficiency uh, than has been previously done allowing for the provisioning of universal basic services at a global scale and uh, good outcomes besides the ones uh, that I mentioned um, this is uh, easily achievable I think in 10 years if we uh, take the initiative as a species um, uh, to do what need be done to stop capitalism's climate apocalypse and bring about these other uh, better outcomes the artificial intelligence singularity is nigh and wonders to behold beyond imagining and on that fateful day you will rise and all humankind will become as one for you see dear comrade techno communism will win thank you